The Guam's favorite, 808. Half day, good morning. COVID, uh, real quick, uh, just rapidly evolving, let's get the Attorney General of uh, Guam, Mr. Levin uh, Camacho. Good morning, AG. Half day, Levin. Good morning. Uh, so we know you want to talk about uh, fraud and price, price gouging. gouging. Yeah, so uh, just over the last week, we received about 40 complaints about about price gouging for our Consumer Protection Division. And actually, we received 64 calls about complaints for Social Security scam. So, um, you know, it sounds like they've really been hitting the island with scams and fraud. Mm -hmm. Um, So we're encouraging anyone, if you receive a call or you see price gouging, don't don't go out. But if you go out and you see price gouging, you can email uh, our Consumer Protection Division at consumerprotection at oagguam.org. Mm-hmm. So our office is open, but we are not uh, receiving anyone from the public. So we're really encouraging people to use email as much as possible. Mm-hmm. But if you need to call, the number is 475-3324, and you just hit extension 3300, mm-hmm. and that will connect you to our Consumer Protection Division. Uh, and so when they when they call, what what do they need to, to report so that they have the, you guys ha- are armed with uh, what you need to, to conduct your investigation? So, again, we're, we're really encouraging people to, 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 to use the email feature if you can. Um, we need to know as much information about the store. That you can take a picture of the product, brand, size, as much information as you can so that we can do a proper investigation. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned 40 cases? 40 there cases were 40 the complaints past week? that were filed. Yeah, so I think rice is actually the biggest complaint that we received, followed by hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah, hand sanitizer. <laughs> So, uh, but rice, that was uh, surprising to me. That was the most common complaint that we received last week. I think because that's a staple everybody wants to Right, get. and you yeah. see it at the grocery stores where they're limiting people on the amount of how many bags of rice they can get. Uh, AG, can you walk us through, let's say I see an instance of price gouging. I call it in. Uh, where does it go from there? Email it in. So or email we are it actually, uh, we have folks that are our investigators have been going out and actually investigating and talking to the store owners to see if there is actually price gouging. If there is, then we would issue a, a cease and desist letter to the store. Um, but typically, once you know we, we go down there and we ask questions, people are, are pretty quick to to resolve it right then and there. So I think all the complaints that we investigated last week, either there was some, it was a sale item that was no longer on sale, so it wasn't as though prices had gone up in response to anything. Um, they, they, if there was an issue, they would correct it. Mm-hmm. And, and again, what are the penalties? So it, it is up to three times the gross profit of the product that you would have to pay back. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then, you know, I know there was another release that you guys uh, pushed out, and it was regarding fraudulent, is it fraudulent advertising? Is that what, correct? Yeah, we had a complaint about um, people putting products that can cure or prevent. Uh, coronavirus and, and you know that there is no known product so don't don't advertise products that, that can do especially if you're trying to profit off of the situation mm-hmm. so if you see something saying oh if you eat this thing this food uh, you won't you won't get coronavirus you know please please send an email to our office and let us know and we received one complaint and that got resolved uh, pretty immediately what was the complaint about uh, there was a product being advertised as preventing this oh, okay. Okay. What, what, what was it was it Lysol <laughs> no, I mean, maybe, maybe uh, it, it wasn't a hand soap. It was it was a food product that they I were see. saying if you if you eat this, it'll prevent coronavirus. So you know, don't don't. You know, really, the basic rule is don't be a jerk right now. You know, we're all kind of huddling down, trying to do what we can to take care of our family. So don't raise prices up. Try to take advantage of the situation or advertise products that don't do what what you claim them to do. Right, Ag. So when you send your investigators out there, are they uh, fully decked out in their protective gear, or what what type of precautions are you guys taking? Yeah, those those are the things that we're wanting, and that's why we. Send us, send us as much information as you can, but we uh, do have gear that we are providing our investigators to go out. Um, we want to keep our employees safe, and that's why, again, I'm emphasizing as much as you can. Email our office, uh, our website, oagguam.org. All of our divisions are still receiving emails, still, still receiving calls, um, but just be patient because we are trying to minimize the number of staff that are that are having to be on the road to report to work. Wow, AG, I just have to ask, this is kind of a loaded question, but what about the business of, uh, you know, bringing justice? Uh, how... How's that going? Are we starting to see any type of finish line uh, with this crisis? Or are you guys preparing for an extension of this uh, these orders that came out? Uh, we we're preparing as much as we can for long term. I mean, with luckily we were just last week actually rolled over to to G Suite, so a lot of the work that we're able to do, um, as much as we can push remotely, we're going to be looking into that. Um, you know, on, 
I guess I really want to give a shout out to my staff that are still in the office, still going in. You know, there are still unfortunately crimes being committed. So we have small teams of our prosecutors that are having to go in. Our victims advocates are having to go in and provide notice to people. Um, so they are there. They are taking calls, and you know, you guys, first responders, all that. But there's a lot of uh, other people. Department of Administration, government, and Guam employees got paid last week. So there are people that are going in, even for you know, not necessarily first responders, but just making sure that. We're, we're all uh, kind of disrupted as, as little as possible. So, um, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think this is going to resolve in the next week. You know, I think we've got to start planning long term what we're going to do and how we're going to adjust our operations. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you wanted to get out to the community? Again, you know, just, just common sense. Stay home if you can. Uh, wash your hands. And, you know, we're, we're going to get through this. It's probably going to get worse before it gets better. All right. uh, have you had a chance to talk to the U.S. At- uh, attorney at all, uh, AG? I don't know if you saw that uh, story that we had had about that. Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to talk with him about uh, about any of this. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay AG. Uh, thank you. There you go. Uh, Thanks a lot, Attorney Sorry. General uh, Levin Camacho. Yeah, you know, it's a lawyer thing. I just figured I'd throw it out there. <laughs> Maybe they have a little chat right away. Right, a little lawyer <laughs> chat. AG, U.S. Attorney chat. <laughs> okay, uh, so as you heard, there was about forty cases, right? Um, of suspected price gouging made to the Consumer Protection Office.